It was a pothole that caused a major financial bump in one Detroit woman's life. Her car needed repairs. I thought it was something simple, so I just took it to the mechanic and come to find out it was something major, $713 major, and I couldn't afford to pay for it. So I had to go and borrow money so I can get my car out, of, out so I can go to work. Amber Wyatt took out a payday advance in November. I got the money like that. The problem is, you borrow $600, you got to pay back $677. She then found herself having to renew and renew that payday loan, each time getting new big fees. And life kept happening. Hi. She went on maternity leave to have her beautiful baby four months ago. What's your name? Hi. Say Jada. We're just all trying to survive and make sure we keep a roof and lights and food on our kids' tables. There currently are laws in Michigan restricting the fees on payday loans, but many don't realize the interest they are actually paying. Taking a look at the numbers, if you take out a loan for 100 bucks, the state says the maximum fee you can be charged is $15. $15 might not sound like a lot if you're in a jam and you need that money, but work it out day by day over 14 days. That's $1.07 per day times 365 for a $100 loan. You are paying 391% interest. Some say that's too high, even predatory, and that the law needs to change. There are more payday loan stores in the United States than there are McDonald's. Michiganders for Fair Lending campaign spokesperson Josh Hovey points to a Center for Responsible Lending report that found Michiganders spend more than $100 million a year on payday loan fees. The center says the average payday loan interest rate advertised in 2021 in Michigan was around 370% a year. It's fair to charge someone interest for, for a loan but we don't think 370% should be the number. Michiganders for Fair Lending has turned in more than 400,000 signatures that the state is reviewing. If approved, its petition would let voters decide whether they should cap the interest charged by payday lenders at 36% a year. That's not an unreasonable thing to be asking is, is to not prey on people. Is this going to put businesses out of business? No, I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, any business should be able to make uh, money charging 36% interest. I reached out to companies like Check and Go and Advance America to request interviews, but didn't hear back by deadline. However, Advance America's website says its fees are sometimes less than the cost people face if they can't take out a payday loan. And a 36% interest rate cap, it says, wouldn't cover the costs of operating the business. Wyatt has mixed feelings. The payday loan got her out of a jam, even though she acknowledges it got her in a new jam. When you have an emergency and you need money now and they're available, you don't have much choice. In Southfield, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.